Hello everyone, in this new video we will start to talk about uh, ASO, App Store Optimization. So, in the previous videos uh, we found some ideas. We have selected the best and the we figured out how to create an MVP. In this new video I want to talk about uh, uh, ASO and uh, why ASO is so important for your application. So this will be a small ASO course inside our app marketing course and the focus of this part of the course will be how to choose the perfect keywords. Let's start to see what is the app store optimization. It's the set of all the techniques and strategies we use to make our app more visible in the app store. It's very simple. Why is essential to know the App Store optimization? Because the organic research inside the App Store represents the 65% of all the downloads in the App Store. The source of this information is Apple and you can get this information directly from the Apple Search Ads website. So it's really, really important uh, um, making your customer able to uh, find you on the App Store. And also the App Store optimization simply works. There are a lot of indie developers that are focusing on the App Store optimization and their keywords and are increasing their revenue and download. So it's a very cost effective way to um, increase your revenue. Another great advance of App Store optimization is that unlike any other channel, you already know that the person who is searching is looking for an app. Is completely different from, from any other channel. For example, if you use the search engine optimization and your website to, to um, bring traffic to your, to your application, you don't know if uh, uh, the people that are performing the research is really looking for an app. And you don't know if you're looking for an app for iOS. So with the App Store optimization, you have uh, your perfect customers. When we talk about the ASO, we need to talk about App Store optimization on page and off page. Um, for App Store optimization on page, I um, talk about uh, icon, titles, subtitles, screenshots, video preview, ratings, keyword field, and so on. Basically, everything that the user can find in uh, the App Store page. Changing this metadata can have a great impact on the number of downloads of our application. For example, we can improve our icon to, um, to have more page view, or also we can change the title and subtitle to rank high for specific keywords. And also, for example, we can improve the screenshots to, um, to obtain more downloads. So everything is related to the App Store optimization. It's not just a matter of keywords. When we talk about uh, ASO off page, we talk about all the channels that we can use to bring traffic to our application. Some of these channels are search engine optimization with, for example, a blog or Facebook ads or newsletter and so on. All these channels permit to our application to obtain more download and um, increase our ranking for specific keywords. To understand how a ranking guy for a specific keyword, we need to understand how the App Store works. And it's really, really simple. You need to imagine your, uh, um, your ASO strategy uh, like a pyramid. At the base of this pyramid, you have your metadata, uh, like for example, the title, subtitle, and your keywords. You need to select the right keywords in order to uh, rank high for keywords that are relevant for your application. After um, the metadata, you have the downloads. Without downloads, you can write for any keywords. For this reason, it's so important uh, the um, ASO off page. We can have um, a different source of traffic for our application, and this source permit us to rank high for specific keywords. And at the top of this pyramid, we have the ratings. The ratings are very good to increase our conversion rate. In when someone enter in our App Store page and see a lot of ratings and also a very high average rating, it's more probably that this person will download our application. So the ratings are really, really important. So important to understand that to increase your ranking, you need 
downloads and also that the downloads are store specific what i mean if you want to rank high for a specific keyword for example in germany you need downloads from the german app store you don't need download in usa you don't need download in italy you need download in the german app store every ranking is different every um, chart is different so you need the downloads are store specific this is really important Second point, the source of the downloads doesn't matter. This is really, really important. You can obtain downloads from everywhere and doesn't matter in terms of ranking. It's not true that, uh, for example, to rank high for a specific keyword, someone need to search on the app store for this keyword, find your app and tap on your app and download. It's completely false. Every uh, source, uh, uh, can be useful to rank high for your keywords. So uh, if you want to rank high for a specific keyword, you only need um, a lot of downloads in a specific store, okay? But how we can choose a right keyword? Because uh, now we know the, that the app store optimization is really important. We know that uh, we need to find the right metadata um, and we need a lot of downloads to increase our ranking for our keywords. And now the point is how I can find the right keywords to insert in my metadata. To understand uh, uh, which are the keywords that we need, uh, we need to understand uh, the anatomy of uh, a keyword. A keyword uh, um, can be described uh, uh, using three, three properties, popularity, difficulty, and relevance. Popularity uh, basically means uh, how much a keyword is searched inside the Apple App Store. Okay, more popular is a keyword is the more download you obtain if you rank high for this keyword. The difficulty is uh, a value that um, uh, range from 5 to 100 that describe also the popularity range from 5 to 100 that describe how much is difficult to rank high for this specific keyword. And uh, uh, the popularity can be obtained from Apple search ads and the difficulty is calculated by App Store optimization tool like Castro using proprietary algorithms. And also we have uh, another point, uh, something that um, uh, not a lot of people consider, but is really, really important, uh, that is the relevance. Uh, and it's something that only you can know. Uh, you, only, you, you are the only person that know uh, how much a keyword can be relevant for your application. A software can't uh, uh, give you this information. For example, if I am selling a calendar app that have um, only paid features, so it's a paid upfront app, uh, is not relevant for me rank high for the keyword free calendar app. Okay, so we need to decide uh, which are our keywords uh, and which are the keywords that are relevant for our application. If a keyword is have a good popularity, a good difficulty, but is not so relevant for my application, is not a good idea inserting my metadata. In the next video, we'll see how to perform a complete keyword search. So if you don't want to miss the next episode, uh, subscribe to the channel and activate the notification. Thank you very much for watching this video. Bye.